All right, today I'm gonna to demonstrate for you how to do what I showed in class as a spotlight feature when you're making a Google slide. This is very helpful when you have a map and you wanna show a specific part of the map or you have some kind of an image on your screen that has a lot of detail and you wanna focus your audience on one or more particular places. So for today, we're gonna to keep it really simple and go under here under blank and create a new presentation. It starts off with this title slide, and so to get things set up right, we wanna go up to layout here and choose the blank option. So it's just a clear slide, nothing on it. And then for this to work best, we need the background to be black. So we're gonna go up under background, and then for color, choose black in that top corner, hit done. Now we have our slide ready to go. So we need to add an image to this slide. Hopefully you have some kind of an image already ready to go. I'm gonna go in here and click Insert, Image, and Drive. And I've got a Lego image here I'm gonna bring in. Click on the image and click Insert. And it drops it kind of randomly on the screen. Uh, slides has some guides built in. So if you slide uh, from left to right, eventually a red vertical line will show up. That means you're now centered from left to right. And then as you move up and down, a horizontal one will show you that you're centered, and so you can drag that on. If I was doing more, if I was actually presenting in a class, I would fill the screen and resize this so it would fit and be the entire image. To show you this feature, we're just gonna stop right there and leave it centered on the screen. We're going to uh, right-click on that thumbnail on the left, and we're gonna duplicate the, si the slide, and we're gonna do that twice. Now on slide two, Make sure you click on slide two. We're now gonna click on our image and we're gonna right click and copy and then right click and paste. And then we're gonna drag that image again because it kind of bumps it randomly and use those guides to where it's centered and drop that in the center of the screen. And now we get to have a little bit of fun with this. And so when you spotlight, you wanna draw people's attention to one particular thing in your image. And so a spotlight is usually round. We can imitate that uh, using a feature on slides. And so if we go up here, there's a crop image and just to the right of it is an arrow that says mask image. If you tap on that and then go down to shapes, you can choose the oval feature feature on there. And now you have this oval on your screen, oval on your screen, you're almost ready. Now I go up and tap crop image. There are black and white little handles here in the corner you can drag to get your oval just where you want it to spotlight one particular part of your image. When that's done, simply click off of the slide somewhere and your image has been cropped. Now it doesn't look like it yet because we have to do one more thing. We're gonna tap now on this image that's actually the image in the back. We're gonna go up to format options and we're gonna go over here to adjustments. And it has a transparency slider. You wanna slide this over uh, for use in the LGI room at Middle School North. You can probably set it around 50% and be good. For me, so you can see it better on this screen, I'm gonna set it over here to 67%. That's ready to go. And now some of you asked about what if you wanna highlight multiple things on a map or you want to show multiple things on an image. We still wanna to keep to our rule of one thing per slide. And so go up here in your thumbnails where you have slide two, tap on that or right click and choose duplicate slide. We're gonna do this twice. Come back into slide three. If you tap on that image and go back up here and choose crop image, now you can grab those handles and you can move it to highlight something else or someone else in that image. We're gonna do that here. Tap off of there and now that's done. And we're gonna go over to slide four. Again, tap on that image, go up to crop image, and we're gonna drag the handles to a different part of our image that we want to highlight. And then we're gonna bring this in here just the size we want. If it gets off screen where you can't see it, that's okay. Go up to your magnifying glass and zoom out. And then you can bring those handles in if it does that, it, like, it deselects it for you. Just go up and click crop again. Be careful, it's really picky. Make sure you have that black arrow. Now you can resize it here. So you got just where you want it. Click off. 
and then go up here to your magnifying glass again and put fit where you can see the whole screen. Everything looks pretty good. So now we want to add a transition. So we're going to tap on our slide uh, and then we're going to go up here to transition where it says none. We are going to choose dissolve. And I usually adjust the slider to about 0.7 seconds and then hit apply to all slides. And now we're ready to show you the magic. Click on slide one, click on slideshow. And now when you advance your slide, it's going to go to slide two, it dissolves in, and now it looks like you're spotlighting that particular part of the image. Remember, we did two more slides like this. So now as we advance, it shifts over and shifts up and finally back to that whole image. And that's how you create a spotlight feature on your image, whether it's a map or a diagram or an image you want to show. The important thing is to make sure you use the guide so it's perfectly centered and then this will work. As you go through this, go ahead and pause the video, stop it as you need to, to do this at your own pace. And you too can use a spotlight feature, which is a powerful way, a professional way, to draw your audience's attention to one particular place on a map or in an image when you're giving a presentation.